So work oriented and, and expect you still need the spirit. spirit. Yes. You need the two. Amen. The left leg and the right leg. Yes. Now, when a penalty is set and the number nine or whoever is going to hit that penalty he has been called upon to hit the penalty. If he is right-handed, legged, which is this leg, is it? Is this right? Yes. Okay. You know, when you become so spiritual, you don't know which one is right or which one is right. <laughs> Confirm, this is my right. Yes. All right. I am right-legged. And the ball is there. And I want to hit my penalty. Can I remove my left and say, left, we don't need you here because I am going to hit the penalty with the left, with the right. So I want to leave you so that I can go like that. Yeah. If I go like that for my penalty, will I be able to release a thunderbolt? No. I won't. Why? Because I need the support of the left. And remember, for your own information, if the right is going to kick, normally the left goes first. Yes. The right follows. Yes. The left goes. Yes. The right follows. Yes. And normally it is the left which then turns to say, okay, the ball is there. So I will stick here. Right? And then lifts up the right. This is the one which is kicking. This is the one which has got the power. But look, who really is supporting the body now? <laughs> who really is supporting the body? And then you hit with the right. And it's a score. But when all that action was happening, who really made sure the shot is in? It is your left. Arise! That's your faith. And build! That's your works. If Nehemiah had arisen and done nothing, he would not have gone into the books. And if Nehemiah had just gone for the work without the faith, he would have done nothing. But the Bible says, arise and work. Arise when you are down there. You are coming up from a posture so that you are ready for the work. When we say arise, arise itself is just a state of preparedness. Amen. And I want to say to Melbourne, arise. Amen. There is work for you, Amen. awaiting you. Amen. There is a whole city for you, yes. awaiting you. Yes. Melbourne, arise yes. and work. Yes. Arise yes. and build. Yes. Amen. And I want you to understand that when you are geared for work, don't cast your eyes on what is happening outside. Amen. Look at the work. Yes. Nehemiah did not even worry about those who had refused to join him on the work. Yes. Nehemiah did not even worry about those who were fighting. I think even the reason why he was handling this spear because I didn't hear that he, 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 he killed anybody. Mm -hmm. Nehemiah killed nobody. Mm -hmm. Nobody. Mm -hmm. So I think the spear was just to tell them that I can also fight, but I will not. Yeah. Because I'm working. <laughs> but if you come near me, I will. <laughs> but I'm not. I'm only working. You know, sometimes the spear keeps the enemies away. You know, the spear does keep the enemies away. And the spear is the word of the Lord. As long as you trust in the word of the Lord, the Lord will be with you. And Nehemiah's prayer.